sometimes mining is tedious, time-consuming, and a little boring. But, what if I told you it could be very easy? And by easy, I mean super easy. This is Mining Gadgets. Let's get into it. So Mining Gadgets is a super, super intricate and modular mod. I can't believe I just said modular mod, but there's no other way that I can really describe it. It's very intricate. You have so many ways that you can configure it. You can upgrade the laser. It is very wonderful. It's my favorite mod. It's very useful in mining because it not only makes mining faster, but it makes it more industrial. Because if you have gone from, you know, an iron pick, you don't want to continue sitting here doing this and that for like five hours looking for diamond. You know, you want to probably add x-ray, but x-ray is a little boring too because you're just mining through and it's like, oh, there it is. I have all this cobblestone I don't really need. But no, mining gadget is just the mod you need. If you just want to get through mining very quickly, get it. So mining gadgets, here we are. So let's start off with the upgrades. I want to show you exactly what the upgrades do to the mining laser and what you can do with the upgrades that you have. So at its very basic core, you have just the mining laser. There's no, no special thing to it. You can just shoot it at something and there you go. Pops out a few of the stuff that you've just mined. And that's essentially it. Uh, if you shift and right click, it'll show you what you can do with it with the gadget settings and the upgrades and all that. You can change the volume, you can change it from precision mode to true, which basically just means you don't need to hold, if you hold down on it, it'll turn off automatically. It won't go straight to the next one. You just kind of work one way or the other. But if you want to just go through it all at one moment, you can just turn it off and then go all crazy with it. Visuals, you can change the color of it. Let me change mine from red to, to more of a, more of a blue. And that will show off. There we go. And of course, that's that's all you got. You got the range, and you can only go up five blocks. But you can go even further. That's right. All right, so let me show you the upgrades. This is the modification table, and you're going to need it to add your upgrades to the laser. And all you really need to do is just put the mining gadget there. And you can shift-click, you can drag it up and put it in there. But all these mods, or these upgrades, just get added to it immediately. There's no cost to it other than the way you craft them and i would very recommend if you're getting this mod to also have just enough items or too many items or whatever it's called for other people because there are just so many different uh uh crafting recipes of course there's crafting recipes specifically for this there's just so many that you're going to need to look it up every now and again and it would just be great to have this in the game because it doesn't really tell you how to get it but just enough items is uh is a very recommended item or mod sorry for for this mod specifically uh because it'll show you how you can upgrade uh or how you can make these different upgrades and what you need for them and there's just so many all of these are so useful it's wonderful i yeah yeah it's it's great so let's just show you let me just show you what all these upgrades do <sighs> we have light placer which is you know just just as simple as it sounds if you're mining for a specific amount of time it'll find the you know it'll find wherever the surrounding light is and if it's lower than eight it'll place something called miner's light which is just this little particle effect that kind of creates light and it'll go away if you hit it i didn't mean to do that but you know what it, it does that silk touch same as it is for everything on uh, tools it'll just grab everything as it is and you wouldn't have to worry so much about it fortune as it works on tools as well, if you have Fortune 3 on, on your uh, pickaxe, it's going to give you the amount of uh, diamond or redstone or coal or whatever comes out as one of the already basic gem resources. It'll multiply it for you. You got the mining magnet, which basically it doesn't add, it doesn't pop up in the world. So you're not picking up items. Instead, it just transfers it to your inventory so you don't have to carry around uh or you don't have to walk around and, and get all the stuff. But if your inventory is full, it'll, it'll drop it anyway. Void Junk is a very, very great upgrade because with that, you are able to blacklist or whitelist specific blocks and, and, and ores. So if you don't want to pick up so much cobblestone or dirt or andesite or diorite or granite, you can put that on a blacklist and it won't do anything with it. It'll just destroy it automatically. And you can pick up the coal, you can pick up redstone and diamond and so on, and it works with the fortune and everything. Everything just runs well. The battery upgrade is very important because this thing runs out of fuel 
not too fast i mean but if you have it upgraded very much it runs out of fuel a lot and also with this mod i'd also recommend because it's kind of a relation to it and they made it they up upgraded with the same thing is the uh charging station and what the charging station does is just adds a you know a charging station for the gadget and if you have enough you know fuel i think it works with any kind of fuel mod like if you have something that makes uh you know whatever you put in the furnace a consumable that can burn for a long period of time this adds uh uh i guess a uh, it, it could it could probably work in the charging station i haven't tested out uh, tested it out though so don't take my word for it on that but yeah charging station that's going to be in the description you definitely want to download this as well as that because they're basically partner mods Next upgrade is freezing. So if you're walking, if you're mining through something and you have, you know, you're you're finding lava, it'll basically turn that lava into obsidian and the water into cobblestone. And it'll kind of just grab the cobblestone and, and the obsidian and it'll just freeze everything around you so you don't have lava or water pooling into your mine shafts. The upgrade range, as you know, as you would expect, it just extends your range by five times with each tier. So, you know, you you have a range of five now as it is you add one more you get you get five more that's 10 the next one's 20 or 15 and the final one is 20 so you can go with uh uh that specific amount if you wanted to i wouldn't go too crazy with it because sometimes you just don't know where you're gonna be mining into efficiency as you would expect for other tools it just mines it very fast and you it'll like it's smooth it's super fast and then of course there's the three by three which Instead of just mining one block at a time, you can mine three by three, and it'll just continue going. Uh, this is a new one. They just recently added this one. I don't remember seeing it when I was uh, messing around with it previously on 1.6.2, but it's a paver. So if you are, I'm assuming it's when you're walking over a mine shaft that already exists, or like you're you're mining into something and there's already a mine shaft, it'll create a cobblestone path for you, and you can just walk right over and continue mining. Uh, so let's just, I don't know, let's give it a shot. We've added more things to it, so let's configure it a little bit more. So let's change that to 3x3, three three. the range is still at 10, the, the visuals, whatever, precision modes, false, and of course the filters. So we have different things in here. I've already added my specific amount. I've been in another. It works in another. It's very useful in another because if you don't want to continuously jump around and find quartz you can just shoot around or you can create a mine shaft and you will just mine quartz you can put the netherrack and soul sand and obsidian and everything else in there that you don't want to pick up um but we have the filters in here so these will not get picked up and you can change it of course you can change this from a blacklist to a whitelist so if you want to pick up specific items only you would just put that in there and it'll pick up the other ones and it won't do anything else but i have it on a blacklist because i don't i haven't found emerald yet and if i find emerald i don't want that getting destroyed and so on uh, so the light placer, you can turn these off. You can turn silk touch on if you want to, but you can't have both fortune and silk touch on as you would expect because it just doesn't work like that, of course. Um, but I'm just going to turn silk touch off for now. Magnet, you can turn that off if you don't want to have it all enter your inventory at once. Uh, void junk is, you know, just the filter itself. If you disable that, you're not going to be getting anything. Everything's just going to fall out. Freezing, that's the that's the lava. You can turn that off if you want to. You can turn all you can turn off all these all these upgrades within the menu. And again, that's shift, right click, and it's right there. So let's just look at how the mod works. So I'm here, I'm just gonna hold down. And just like that, we picked up the iron. I have redstone, I believe, as a blacklisted item. It does not go through bedrock. No matter how hard you try, it does not go through bedrock. But yeah, you can just hold it down and shoot for a long period of time if you have the battery life. And whatever you find down here will just get added into your inventory. I found some diamond. Look at that. I found diamond. We have 13 diamond. Yeah, this is a really good mod. I absolutely recommend you getting this if you uh, are bored with the current way of mining or if you're just, you know, you're looking for something different. I would absolutely get this mod. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was informational for you. I hope you, uh, you know, found it interesting. You're probably going to go download the mod because I absolutely recommend you getting it. They update this relatively quickly. They're very active to uh, bugs. So like if you if you report something on the on Curse Forge, you're going to get you're going to get a message relatively quickly about what you're doing and what the mod or what the issue could be. But yeah, I would straight up recommend getting it.